This is Vox Collectibles Little Cute Characters. And this are the Cyberkongs. And these are of course the Meebits. What do they have in common? They are all 3 NFT collections that have thousands and thousands of unique images. How do you even create so many of them? Because making one by one manually will take forever. Even if just one 3D model takes you 5 minutes to make, then making 10,000 of them would take you more than a month. We saw all those beautiful and successful collections, so there has to be a better, faster, and easier way to do that. And the answer is Raptor plugin for Blender. But first, let's check our 3D scene. These are the main characters of my NFT collection called Sobro Jedi Council. And yes, they look very plain. And that's because here comes the attributes that will be combined with the main characters. And there are five types of attributes. We have hair, eyes, mouth, body, a background, and lastly, a special hidden attribute that I will show you at the end of this video. All the attributes, including the main character and a background, are all in just one scene in Blender. Creating a big mess. So let's turn the visibility of all the characters and the attributes off. With this clean zen garden, we are ready to create our NFTs. To combine the attributes and the main characters, we're gonna turn on the render visibility for the traits that we want to include. Okay, starting with choosing the hair, eyes, mouth, the body, and then the background. And this is our first Sober Jedi. So proud! Welcome, my dear. Let's continue making another. But this time, we're gonna use Raptor plugin because I don't really have a month to just sit here and play with Blender and neither do you. Remember the mess in our 3D scene? Because that's gonna be our starting point, having all the attributes and their traits visible. First, let's have a look at our Raptor generator, which can be found here in the scene section. All the attributes that we prepared like hair, eyes, mouth, body or the background are recognized by the generator, meaning that we can see all the traits of the attribute. So let's say for the attribute body, we have the Beskar armor, Jedi robe and the black robe as well. So all the attributes that you prepare here are now here in the Raptor generator. Each trait has its rarity number that has a default number of 50. So the higher the number, the more rare it's gonna be. The maximum it's 99, while the lowest it's just a zero. That means that this, let's say background blue will be very ordinary, while the 99 means that it's gonna be super, super rare. Let's scroll down a little bit. The more traits you have, the longer the list. And let's have a look at this number of combinations. This is a very important number because it tells us how many possible combinations there are if we combine you know, the traits. So you can see that we have 62,500 possible combinations. So uh, let's just reduce it to 100 right now. Then there is a session with metadata where we can customize the name of NFTs as well as the description. I will give it an abbreviation of Sober Jedi Council, so that's gonna be SJC, and a description is gonna be very simple, my lovely Jedis. We are almost at the end before the generation process. This is analyze scene button. First of all, it sets all the rarity numbers to its default value, as well as recalculates the combinations because it also searches for the new attributes or the traits that you might just add it in meanwhile. Let me just try to hit it. You can see that the number of combinations got to 62,500 again, as well as the rarity number of the valid and the blue that was set to 99 and the zero. All the way up here, we have the accessory attribute. That's the hidden one that I didn't show you. So just wait until we get the renders to see how it looks. The generator always picks a trait in the attribute. So as we have only two accessories here, it would always choose between one of those. So all the 3D models would have either the robotic glasses or the holo shield. To fix that, we're gonna add an empty trait. To do so, we're gonna add an empty collection and then we'll rename it to just empty. You can see that the empty trade was added with the rarity number of 50. So if you want to make it really ordinary, meaning that there will be a high chance of the empty to be picked in the process of generation, we're gonna give it a zero. 
and then we will increase the rarity of those two special accessories. We really want it to be super rare, so I will give a 85 to robotic glasses and 90 to holo shield. And I would like to also make some of the body trait rare as well. So let's give a best car armor 85. Then we're gonna increase the black children egg to 75. And as we have a Jedi council, we want the Jedi robe to be really ordinary. So let's just give it a 10. And the same we go with the black robe, which is gonna be a 30. And the winter vest will stay at 50. That's fine. And lastly, I think that some of the races should be more rare, like the Yoda, right? Especially the baby Yoda. So this one will get a 90. And then the Twilight -like race will also get a 75, right? And we will want a lot of humans, so we're gonna give them a 30 and also 30 other. If you remember well, we added an empty accessory up here, which means that the number of combinations also should be a little higher than the 62 and 500. So let's just hit the analyze scene to make sure how it is. I totally forgot that the analyze scene button resets all the rarities, even though I just told you right. And it also took an account the empty trade. So the final number of combinations is over 90,000. I'm just gonna set the rarities as I did before. And lastly, let's reduce the number of combination to just a hundred. And we are ready. And now let's hit the generation button. First thing to notice are the exported files. Here we have all the unique characters exported into a separate object file. This object file is then used to upload to sites like OpenSea, where people can view it in a 3D space in web browser. Then we also got a folder with metadata, where all the information about each model is stored, like its name or the attributes. To see and render the 3D models that were generated, we need to open the timeline. When we change the number of the frame, we can also see the new combination of attributes in the 3D scene. And that's where the magic happens. So all the generated combinations are stored as keyframes. And in each frame, different traits got picked by the algorithm and their render visibility got to turn on while the rest got it turned off. Basically in the same fashion as we created the first Sober Jedi. The very last step is rendering the whole collection. Each combination was stored as a keyframe. That means that we're gonna render the whole series of images by rendering the animation. To do so, go to Output Properties and there find the Output section. In here, we can specify the folder where all the images will be exported to, as well as the file extension or the quality of the images. So in here, I have the PNG and I'm very happy with the rest of the configuration. Beside the configuration in here, we don't have to do anything else. So we're gonna go to render and then click on the render animation. When the rendering process is done, you should see a folder with all the exported images. So in here, we have a collection of Sober Jedi Council. We generated 100 combinations all together. Based on the rarity that we set, we can see that for example, we have only one Yoda character in here. So it makes that one very, very rare. We also don't see that much of the Beskar armor in comparison to the Jedi robe. And lastly, as I promised, here are the two special traits in the accessory attribute. The robotic glasses and the holo shield. And that was how we saved a month of seriously tedious work. It was super awesome having you here today while we were exploring the creation of 3D NFTs. You can find the files for download in the description. Please let me know in the comments which Sober Jedi you like the most. Subscribe if you have not. Tang and Michael are out. Between us, that is how I know you. Go on. Okay, so it was uh, ladies and gentlemen, Celine Dion by Tangis.